Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you a really quick trick of how to find the minimum positive number in a list. Uh, from my experience, it is actually a very hard task to do uh, if you just use the regular Excel formulas. However, I'm going to show you how easy it can be when you apply the array function. Okay, so let's look at the scenarios we have now. Like, for example, let's say the business case here is that uh, you're modeling for a, for the best way to spend your budget, and then you have, say, like 20 <coughs> scenarios. And then in each scenario, you have your spending, and then you calculate the gap with your budget. So some give you a surplus of a 1,000, some give you... Um, an overspend of 300 something. So out of all those scenarios, you want to find out which scenario uh, give you uh, the most spending, but then still leave you with a surplus, which means that you didn't overspend. So for example, um, scenario three and four, they're overspend and you don't want to do, do that with them. But then with scenario one and two, you kind of feel like the surplus too much. Like, do we have a surplus that's less? Um, so how do we do that? If you only use the regular minimum function to find the numbers, uh, you're very likely to find the, the minimum uh, number which is a negative, like which is uh, you have an overspend of 926 bucks. Um, that is not what you want to find. Um, so how do you find the minimum number but this is still the positive number? Um, so here is the formula that you're going to use. So first, um, you use if and then bracket um, and then select the list you want to have and then you shift control arrow down and you can select everything and then you you have it greater or equal to zero and then uh, <coughs> select it over again and with this function you add the minimum function to close it um, so that you're looking for the minimum function with it, but that's not the end. The very critical uh, step here is actually where you still have the cursor there. Um, press Control Shift Enter at the same time, and then notice that you have another bracket out of it, and that is a sign for the array. And this is actually how you apply the array function. So that let me stress that with for you, array function equals control shift plus enter at the same time. So with that uh, gives you the number of one fifty three, which is let's see if that is the minimum positive number in this list. Okay, so it shows that it's scenario nine. Um, yep, yeah. so actually that is the smallest positive number in the in this list. And here you go. So in our case here, scenario nine gives you the minimum gap with the pot, uh, with the uh, budget, but then you still have a surplus. Okay, so I hope this is helpful and please subscribe if you like it. Thank you.